Wap me massive. <laughs> That's what us Trinidadians call each other. How are you, everyone? I hope this message finds you well. Thanks for tuning in to your girl's video. I needed to get myself together, so we're going to do some crochet today. Here is the weaving cap that I'm going to use. As you see, my braid pattern is not perfect. Don't come for me. Do not come for your girl, okay? I tried my best. What I decided to do, I have a very tender scalp. So I had approximately 10 cornrows from the front of my head, my forehead, to the crown of my head. So I washed, deep conditioned, oiled, shea butter, all of that. And I put the 10 cornrows, like I said, from my hairline to the middle of my head. Then from the middle of my head to the nape of my neck, I have approximately six plaits. You know, I used to struggle with the cornrows. It's not that it's difficult for me. I'm able to cornrow, or like us West Indians say, cane row. Cane row, cane row has never been a problem for your girl. However, because of my extremely sensitive scalp, and that sensitivity has not gone away, it's so much easier for me to just plait my hair. So being that I needed the front to lay down really, really flat, I figured I would do the cornrows at the front, put the plaits in the back, and no one would be none the wiser. And then I'm not sewing anything down. I'm just not the one needle and thread. I did that before when I was taking it out. I was cutting the thread. I had my daughter help me cut the thread and we ended up cutting my hair. We're not doing that. All I did was put one French braid, one braid, one corn row, took all the corn rows together with the plaits from the middle of my head all the way down to the nape of my neck. Then I decided to get this stocking cap. It only cost me a dollar at the local beauty supply. This one is a fishnet style stocking cap. So with this stocking cap, what I decided to do was put it from like the middle of my head because of course I want to see the part. So you see me trying to find an area here because with this crochet, of course, I want to be able to wear middle part, side part, all the way on the side part, off center part. So, you know, I need to be able to see those parts. You know, they're not super neat, but my hair was wet. I did not blow dry it. I'm heatless. I'm natural. I've been natural for approximately seven years, probably a little bit more than that. Um, I've done all kinds of crazy things to my hair, but I've just pretty much during quarantine have just let it go and it is growing. So I figured I would try something different. I saw a YouTuber use a bead threader to crochet their hair. Um, I'm using the Brazilian Go-Go -Go Curl 2X, which is two times as much, and they say full volume hair. Um, this hair costs $15 for two packs. It was extremely inexpensive. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm going to list all the details below. I ordered from Amazon because it was just so much easier for me than getting out and going to the store. I'm a busy mom of three. I'm working from home in this COVID-19 in 2020 chaos tsunami and I have three children in three different grade levels who are also at home virtually learning so all four of us are on the internet and at any given moment there's a meeting a huddle trying to get this work done my kids trying to get them to work done I'm trying to help them so I ordered from Amazon it came very quickly it actually came the very next day which is wonderful with Amazon Prime and again this crochet is the Brazilian go-go -Go curl two times as much full volume they call it natural texture hair so i use the bead threader you're gonna see um it's a little bit comical here because i figured i would just give y'all all the realness okay no games here i am not a professional i'm not a hairdresser i'm not a professional stylist i braid my girl's hair they go to well they used to go to salon pre-covid and of course i used to go to hairdresser pre-covid however you know i'm trying to make it do what it do on a budget, save them coins um, during this pandemic. Oh, that just meant my, my son came upstairs just now. And you know, th these kids will tell all your business. I like to just come out like patow. Like, you know, you go to the hair salon and then you come home and then you got all your fabulousness going on. So he was coming upstairs. I'm sitting here watching Netflix and then I watched a, youth, uh, a little bit of a Lifetime movie and then he was coming upstairs. So I threw that towel over my head really quickly because I don't like him to know, you know, all that I got going on and telling you know the girls know but you know I want my son knowing he be telling his friends all kind of business anyway here's my crochet I ended up switching to the crochet needle and y'all know it's the same thing loop de loop and here we go hello YouTube fam so I'm back and I finished this 
Go Go Curl crochet install. And I must say, for my first time doing it, uh, a couple bumps in the road. I'm sure you guys were laughing at me in the beginning. <laughs> but I feel like I pretty much worked it out. I love big hair. I love easy hair. I have a very sensitive scalp, by the way. So if you saw me ooching and ouching and you're looking at my braid pattern like, what is going on? Why didn't you just do 10 or 12 or 8 cornrows just going straight back? What I did, as you noticed, I did the cornrows from the beginning, meaning my forehead, to the middle of my head. So like around here, the crown. Okay? So I stopped my cornrows about here. Then in the back, what I did was, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, somewhere around six plaits. Because I'm like, okay, why am I cornrowing and torturing my whole head when really it's a lot easier for me to do like a chunky plait? So I washed my hair. I used that Aussie conditioner. I'm going to link everything below. I washed it. I deep conditioned it. I, I put some oil in it and um, some shea butter. And then, like I said, my half cornrows. Now, originally, I was going to use my henna. So I like to color my hair. However, I have some things here I like to use. Um, I just figured, like, you know, I've been natural, I guess, time flies, like about seven years now, somewhere in the neighborhood of like seven years. So why am I dyeing my hair if I'm natural? I'm trying to avoid chemicals, right? So at the health food store, I buy this henna, you know, I'll also link it. I'm sure you can buy like henna anywhere. So I buy this black henna and then I use it with the coffee because I saw that on YouTube that if you use coffee and then you mix the henna powder, you know, your hair comes black. So originally I was going to like use the henna or dye my hair or, well not dye, but color with the henna. So to do that at first, but then I was like, hold up. If I'm doing this crochet with no leave out, why am I even going to bother? Like, what is the point? You're not going to see my hair. Um, I don't have any edge control. Tomorrow I'll, you know, come back on. No edge control. I didn't lay down my edges or anything like that. So, you know, I really did not need, I don't think, to color my hair. I figure I'll just skip this round. And then whenever I'm doing a style that I'm going to have leave out and you're going to be able to see it, then I'll use it then. But for now, you know, I do have, and I'm sure you saw the grays, well, you saw a whole lot of conditioner and a whole lot of oil. I showed my daughter, I was like, oh, my hair is growing. And I shook my head. She was like, oh, you just sprayed me with oil. I was like, oh, girl, sorry for the oil bath. <laughs> However, um... I figured you wouldn't see it, right? So, like, I guess I could do different styles. I don't know. Maybe I'll, like, take pictures with different styles. But as far as right now, I will tell you, the hair is soft. It is, like, human hair soft. Like, I have never, like, I have wigs and, you know, all kinds of styles I've done before. But I've never had hair in my head that was synthetic that was this soft. So, I know soft can be good. But I know it will also be like really scary. I don't know what's going to happen to it. I'm going to keep you updated. Um, so the braiding and all that, of course, it took me a while because I take my time. I watch TV. I was watching Netflix and I was watching Lifetime and all of that. And I take my time because my scalp is so sensitive and I don't want to be pulling my scalp. Otherwise, I would just go to the salon and let them give me a really good professional braid down. But, you know, I took a day Saturday to do that. Um, but as far as the crochet, one hour, one hour, very simple. Um, I purchased five packs because that was the bundle deal on Amazon. This hair is very ex inexpensive, inexpensive. I was able to purchase, I'll double check, I'll send it below, but I believe the five packs cost me $50. So if I, and the deal was if I got two packs, it was $15. So it's pretty cheap, I think. So uh, my goal is to get through a month with this hairstyle because I know after a while, sometimes with crochet or synthetic hair, we'll see because I'll let y'all know the truth. I paid for this hair with my own coins and pennies and so forth. Um, I know that it can sometimes ruffle or get frizzy or anything like that. I do not plan on using mousse. I do not plan on using any of the Hawaiian Silky or any of those products until I absolutely need it. And I will let you guys know what it looks like. I'll try to do update. Like I said, this is this morning I installed this hair. Um, I will let you know what it looks like tomorrow. I'll let you know what it looks like midweek, in a week, 
And I'm hoping to make it through the month because I'm good with this hair for a month. It is long, okay? I ended up just taking a shower and putting my pajamas on because with this COVID craziness, I mean, like, I want to go to the mall. I want to get a massage. I want to get a facial. But I'm not doing any of those things yet, you know, with this variant. So I ended up putting on my pajamas. So excuse my tie-dye comfort loungewear. But the hair is 20 inches it feels a lot longer. I am five feet, eight inches tall. I'm five eight. I'm tall. So if you are vertically challenged, be clear. And nothing wrong with that. I have different family members with different lengths. As you saw, I just pretty much tied the hair together and just took out the straggly ends or whatever earlier. But the hair comes down to my, <clears throat> below my bust line. This is my belly button. I have a long torso also. So this is my belly button <laughs> and this would be my bust and the hair comes, you know, kind of in between. And then <clears throat> I'll also give you like side view. That is very long. I think it's long. And then the back. Um, you saw me struggling with trying to figure out as I was watching a movie like, oh my gosh, where's the sparse sections and I have two daughters I was calling them like, girls, help me out. Where are the sparse sections? Is that Because you know, with the hair net and all that. We don't want to be exposed. We don't want the wind to blow. It is winter. Um, we don't want to be doing any kind of cuteness, you know, when I get out of the house. And if people see all kinds of hair net or plaits or, you know, we don't want to do any of that. So I ended up using two and a half packs of the five packs. So I'm excited. That means I could do this again, okay, for my $50. And that means I have a $25 hairstyle. I'm here for it i'm here for the savings i have three children they need to go to college lord willing i can send them and they don't have to get me you know loans or any kind of college debt um saving for all kinds of things in this pandemic you know saving my pennies so i'm here for this 25 dollar i mean that's the average because i bought five packs but even if like i said I'll, I'll put it down below i'm here for it i'm here for it i ended up doing the best invisible part I was able to do, I figured I'd do like a little off center because when I went to the salon, I'm not going to the salon right now due to COVID, but when I went, somehow she would ask me middle side and then she would just go off center, you know, and I'm with it because a lot of people just do straight down the middle, but you know, a little off center action. I'm here for it. I'm here for the long hair. I'm here for the soft hair. I'm here for the new look. I'm here for the human hair look. I'm here for the it's crochet. I mean, I'm going to go in and like tease a little bit of the roots and try to give myself a little more of an authentic. I'm not a hairdresser, okay, at all. I'm not a hairstylist. I just try my best. That's that's all you can do. So, um, you know, follow me, subscribe for updates. I'm a mom of three. I'm a career woman. I am... Um, embarking on this YouTube adventure that I've always wanted to jump into. It's a new year and I'm like, you know what? I'm going for it. So if you're here for motherhood, lifestyle, career, balance, work-life balance and children and, and fashion on a dime and being like they said, a baddie on a budget. And <laughs> if you're here for all of that, follow me. Thank you all for watching. Be well, take care of yourselves, and I hope you and your loved ones are well.